Pas de douche, chérie? Ça il n'y en a pas encore. Chuck is uh, walking close to the, to the field. That's, I'm hoping. He's hoping for a spray. I mean, the pavement is wet, so the spray came here at one point, didn't it? And this looks like... We're praying to the Camino gods. For water? For a little spray. This looks like a... I don't know, cabbage? Yeah. Some kind of... A, it looks like kale. I'm thinking maybe cabbage. Not sure. Maybe we're, we're beautiful hope, field. We're hoping Santo ah, Domingo. I got Santo it. Santo Domingo will bring some water. Look, there is an arc-en-ciel. Oh. There's an arc-en-ciel. La voiture? There's a rainbow that Thank came you, out. Thank you, Santo Domingo. <laughs> anyway, we're coming into this little town, which was about three kilometers from the last one, Granos, today. Time for a glass of wine, maybe. <laughs> no wine yet. Um, today we're getting towns every three kilometers or so, you said, right? Yeah. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Mm -hmm. This is La Provincia de Burgos, right there. And we are entering now the Castilla y Leon area. So, Junta de Castilla. This is such beautiful countryside. And this is a huge sign. Junta de Castilla y Leon. El Camino de Santiago and Castilla y Leon. And they give you the, the etap. Do you see that? Yeah. This is etap five a uh, etapa. And then we are some vendors, which is always annoying. Rente, we're coming into, so we're, we're just coming into it. Okay, so yeah, these are all the villages that we will be seeing. Yeah, the first one. The and we're staying. Where are we staying tonight? We're staying at uh, Belgrado. Belgrado. Yeah, the, village where we're, uh, the first village. This is the first village where st we're stopping up probably. Yeah. But then this is where we're going tonight, Belgrado, and then after we that four villages. Atu Atupuerca, I think. Après, uh, Atupuerca, we I know we go there. And then Berg, and then uh, Burgos. And then Burgos. That's it. And these are the other etap that go all the way, right? Right. All the way to Santiago. Very cool sign. Here we are arriving at yet another little village. This one is called Castilla Delgado. And uh, here's the church. Right there. And uh, Agua No Potable. Alors, euh, yes, elle n'a pas l'air très potable, hein? En train de parler ici. No, no water, yes. This is pretty, that. So, the, the difference so far with this region, as Jacques said, is it seems that there is a lot of villages that are very close together, right? Yep. As uh, the other regions we've been so far, there were always several kilometers Cherie, uh, in between. I have something for you. What do you have? You see those trees in front of us? Yes. We asked you the, the, what they were. Yes, and we know what they are. <laughs> what are they then? You tell us. They are banana trees without bananas. <laughs> <laughs> you have to love that, right? A oh, very pretty blue sky again. Oh my goodness. Are we so lucky, eh? Very nice. On to the next village. Fortunately, this morning, we are following a road that is right next to the highway and then it just gets uh, rerouted everywhere because they are <coughs> I guess 
trying to bypass the little towns and uh, eventually I guess those little towns will have a quiet road going by instead of a big truck. Hola! Buenos dias! So anyway, <laughs> we share the good. Uh, we have to also share some of the bad and the reality. So this morning is a little bit kind of chaotic with this construction going around. But it's a necessity, right? I'm sure it's a project that will be lasting and has started a long time ago already. Eventually, I think it will be good for the Camino or good for the little, little towns and uh, good for those who just need to go by and pass, right? Um, the town church and no doubt the statue of Santo Domingo passed away in 1109. That's a little while ago. A little while ago? Yeah. No kidding. It's in pot. We're looking to see if it's open. Serado. On a Serado. And we are back walking next to the highway. And, uh, I guess this is road N120 and uh, we are 452 kilometers from Burgos and where we're going tonight is Belorado, 7 kilometer. So here we go. We finally left the construction. Now we can hear birds singing and we are approaching our next little town. Viloria de Rioja. Viloria de Rioja. Jack's pronunciation of Spanish is getting uh, rather good. So what's special about this town, Mon Chéri? Really, it's the birthplace of Santo Domingo, which is really the dominating figure of this region. He's a saint, I guess, and uh, we saw his his coffin. Tomb, coffin yesterday. Yeah. Is la, dans la crypte, dans la crypte, in the crypt. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Fourteen minutes, twenty-eight seconds per kilometer. Here we go. <laughs> you got all the stats at the same time too. Uh, so anyway, that's is where he was born. Yeah, it's a small little town. I've seen marqué ici là sur le la pancarte un peu. Cuna de Santa Domingo de la Calzada. Cuna, ça doit être, ou ça doit devoir dire, must mean where he was born or something. Eh? Pretty cool, huh? So, see this bridge that they're building right there? I mean, massive for the highway uh, that will be here eventually when completed. But you can see the village, and right now the village, the main highway it's a highway right it's a national road the big truck goes right in the right in the middle of this town so you can see that the project is granted and uh, how beneficial it will be uh, eventually but uh, that's what we're walking uh, through today Oof. finally arriving in the little town of Belorado. Actually, not that little, I think. But uh, finally out of the highway. Oh my god. Oof, c'était assez différent aujourd'hui. Hop, oh, petit camion. Ah, on se dirige vers un autre. Hotel pour cet après-midi, cette nuit et demain matin. Iglesia de San Pedro is this way. 
Petite rue. Petite rue. Les siens descendent peut-être. Voilà. C'est par là. Je suis. Je suis Jaco. Et on s'en va à l'hôtel Jacobero. N'est-ce pas N'est-ce pas Hôtel Jacobero. Oh, this is our room. There's a saying in French. Les journées se suivent et ne se ressemblent pas. Right? So we, we followed the highway today, all day, and we get into this hotel, which is a reasonable room, double bed, our private bathroom, right? Reasonable, very clean. We have a balcony, which is amazing, which is the door. But guess what? We're on the highway. The same highway we hiked along today. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. Hello, Cherie. Hey. Buongiorno. Where are we? We are in um, Villa, no, in uh, Belgrado. Belorado. Belgrado, no? No, Belorado? Oh, Belorado, okay. And where are we in Belorado? We are in the uh, emergency because uh, the sea is trying to kill <laughs> That's so not true. We are here because Jaco has a little bit of a reaction, an allergy, right? Allergy, allergy. to something. Show me where the allergies are. Cherie, Can we can't show? do that. It's, the, it's, 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 uh, it's not for the camera. Yeah, I can't. Oh, it's no, just on it's the just ankle. on your own leg. It's really easy. Really not that bad, but... And we just know that we need some cortisone. We have some cortisone for trips, but it's one uh, percent, and it's probably not going to do it. So. Um, so we decide to come here and just get a prescription for a five percent. Get a, a more powerful one, yeah. Otherwise, it's going to last for uh, more yeah. days. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, and it's so fun. And how did we get this? You think? I think it's probably stepping in the fields on something that was not supposed to be stepped on, mm -hmm. or something like that. I would say. Yeah. That happens sometimes when you're trying to go in the weeds to do some business. <laughs> <laughs> we think that's what happened, eh? But we don't, we're not sure. Not sure for El sure. El doctor will tell us. El doctor. On est à l'hôpital. We are at the hospital and we are waiting to see around the store. Le doctor.